book is going to focus on um, this, really countering this popular, somewhat popular idea that um, when an expert such as a professional athlete or professional ballet dancer um, or even a chess player is um, performing at a peak level, that the best performance is somewhat automatic, that it just happens, that it happens without thought or reflection or deliberation. And I'm focusing on showing the types of deliberation that are important with uh, that type of expertise. It's a book that will uh, cross a number of discipline boundaries, and so it makes it rather challenging for me to write, but there'll be um, a philosophical aspect which involves figuring out, well, just what is an expert? What does it mean for an action to be effortless? And thinking about that. And then there's an empirical part where I won't be doing experiments myself. However, I'm looking at the empirical literature, which for the most part um, sort of suggests, tends to suggest this view that I'm wanting to counter. So um, that's, the, that's the more scientific role where I'll be analyzing and critic criticizing some of the, the empirical work on expert action. I think it's important because this idea that I'm countering is so popular. In, in the philosophical literature, um, the main players, um, maybe Herbert Dreyfus and Sean Kelly, are um, who have worked on expertise. It's not such a popular topic in, the, um, in philosophy, but they tend to argue for the more, I mean to just put it really briefly, just this idea that expert action is automatic and the best performances don't require deliberation. So it's trying to uh, correct or, or maybe interact with that literature and um, present a, I wouldn't say correct, I should say present a different view. Uh, whether it will have some effect on really uh, the way experts approach or when you're studying how to, uh, when you're studying um, piano or dance or chess, how you approach this, I'm not sure, but that's possible. Um, there are a lot of popular self-help books, become the best tennis player you can, and well, um, maybe my uh, position will show you should be a little bit skeptical about some of this advice when it's called something like the Zen of tennis playing. I have a somewhat unusual career path to becoming a philosophy professor, and that was before uh, working in philosophy before actually even starting my undergraduate um, education, I had a career as a professional ballet dancer. So I have an experience in a type of bodily expertise, and it's been interesting for me to think about that now, after a period of time of not really doing it or thinking about it, to go back and um, think about it philosophically and theoretically, and that's been interesting.